MACDs. So, this is another tool that I like to use. So I've seen people use it in different ways, but this is how I use it. And I find it very useful when I combine, obviously, some of my Fibonacci stuff, look at some of the trend stuff, and then add in the MACD trend lines. So all we need to do is go to the top, click on the graph which says indicators. Click on that bad boy. Type in MACD. That'll come up. We click on it. And then we see at the bottom that we have all these lines. Now what I'll quickly do is just explain what these lines are. So we have a, uh, a blue line, a red line, and then some red sort of like graphics it looks like, which are called histograms. Now, the blue line is what we call the MACD. And that is a short to medium view of what's happening. And you will probably see in the corner here that we have a 12, 26, and 9. That is just a standard setting on MACDs. And all that means is on the MACD line, that is 12 day moving average minus the 26 day moving average. The red line is what we call the signal line. And that is the 9 day moving average. It's generally a, a bit of a smoother line. Um, and then the red lines that you can see, like a graph, are the histogram so all that is is the uh, MACD divided by the EU signal line basically so it just gives you a bit more of a convergence divergence view of what's going on now what I like to use MACDs for and I'm going to show you I'm going to zoom in on this little bit of price action here this is real simple so what we can see here is a little bit up and down, up and down, and the red line crossing the blue line, red line crossing the blue line. We don't see any of this histogram stuff breaking out. We don't see any of the lines breaking out. However, there was a bit of a, a bit of a social media frenzy about uh, something going on with Blitz Cash here, and all of a sudden, we can see that the blue line has moved away from the red line quite significantly, and also we see a big jump up in the histograms as well this is a big sign as soon as that blue line so if the blue line here is underneath the red line as soon as that crosses and, and obviously depending on what um, what angle so as you can see here, it's quite a smooth angle here you can see it's very vertical when you see that there's going to be some big price action and as you can see that's gone all the way up there's a little bit of a sell-off we can see our W here as we talked about in uh, other sessions but th this is what I'm looking for here is the crossover of the lines and again we see it drop off a little bit that's all you're always going to expect people to take a bit of profit probably fair people a lot of people jumped out of the trade here and then as they see that line coming back up again they jump back in the trade as they see it cross over and again you can see a massive massive spike here I think this went from about $1.20 to $4 or something in a, a very short period of time and as you can see the blue line moves away the further that moves away the better the price action but also you've got to watch out for when it starts coming down and when it crosses over this line that is the time to get out because as you can see here the blue line then crosses and it moves away and this is massive downtrend here if you start seeing that you need to get out of the trade so that's how I use MACDs I've probably I use about three or four different indicators when I'm looking at particular trades just to give me a really good overview of what's happening and again we can have a look at this one here so let's take that across same thing here we can see you know the the red line is just um, above the blue line it then breaks out again you can see these little these little jumps here and again, when that blue line is above the red line, it's all good. When the blue line crosses the red line and goes down, not good. So those those couple of things there should really help you with your trading and just give you a better idea of what's happening. And again, you can uh, you can change the times on these so you can see. You know, if you're doing a bit of day trading, do it at five minutes. 
and you're going to see some more crazy patterns but you can really see you know the difference here in terms of what's happening but again you're looking at those big patterns i normally look at it like on an hour basis drop it down if i'm day trading an hour would, would normally be my standard view on these maybe four hours depending on what i'm looking at so hopefully that's helped and also will give you a good indication of when to jump in and jump out of trades if you like today's video please leave a like or a comment you can follow us on twitter instagram or check out the new ico discount club website where you can check out all the new icos great discounts and also prize giveaways. As always, I hope you got great value out of today's video and I'll catch you on the next one soon. I'm feeling